Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, we're discussing wool and merino wool and regular sheep's wool. And I asked him what was the what's difference. What's the difference? I, so the difference I is know. that merino wool, the hairs are a smaller diameter. So they're finer. Right. They're under 22 microns. So over 22 microns tends to be fairly rigid. Right. So the hairs, when they go up against your skin, will they'll stay rigid and poke which is why wool is scratchy, because mm. the hairs are thick and they poke. So with merino wool, because it's thinner, the hairs bend when they go up against your skin, right. as opposed to poking, which is why you can wear it up against your skin. So in terms of like, it's still wool, yeah. so they yeah. both do all their wool things, yeah. but that's why if you want to wear wool up against your skin, merino is yeah. preferable because the hairs are finer, yeah. and they don't feel scratchy or pokey. Because remember, way back in the day, like in the First World War, yeah, that's what they wore. That's all you had, man. Yeah, was and then I've I've worn them like when we were in army cadets and stuff. I've worn them shirts and they each the crap out. Of you, this right? is it. They're, this is it. But they're warm. They this is warm, this is it. Right? So it, and it's like, do you want to be a bit uncomfortable and scratchy, or do you want yeah. to be warm? Most people would choose warm. Mm. And if that's all you had at the time, yeah. Then well, that's, that, that's, that's what you wear, right? The pants, you tough the pants it up. Were wool. Yeah, man. Just tough the it shirts up. were wool. Yeah, that's that's yeah. all they had. So exactly. Interesting. Where would you find merino sheep? Australia, right. New Zealand, New Zealand, yeah. Patagonia. Right. So okay. wool power stuff all comes from Patagonia. Okay. Because it used to be sourced from Australia, but there's a thing called muesling. M u e s l l i n g, I think. Yeah. There's a fly, uh, like a, an insect, that lays its eggs at, uh, at the anus of the sheep. Oh, really? So to combat this, on young sheep, they'll cut the flesh around the anus. So there's really? pictures of, like, wow. sheep with bleeding anuses. Like, it's a bit... That's mm -hmm. what they have to do. Uh, but there's a bit of an uproar about, like, you know, uh, animal welfare, yeah. and is that something you want to be doing to sheep? So Wool Power decided to, rather than source from those countries with that problem, they changed their sourcing to Patagonia, where that fly that lays its eggs in the anus of sheep does not yeah. exist. So it's not an issue. Really? So if you get it from Patagonia, you can be sure that it's not, it's muesling free. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yes. So then the same <laughs> There's your Merino. <laughs> Merino 101 yeah. at the edge of a thunderstorm on Shirley Lake. On no, mid-May no. 2022. We're supposed to tell anybody. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Is that a secret? Oh, okay. You can bleep yeah. that out. Yeah. Bleep that out with the cursing as well, right? That'd be funny. Actually. And the bleeding anuses. Mm. Well, no, I did. If I said bleeding, yeah. you have to bleep that out, but you don't have to bleep out bleeding anuses. No. That's a medical no. term. It's a proper <laughs> medical term for that part of the anatomy.